How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we are going to be visiting the Valley of Death, and it is in Poland. And I wasn't even going to chance trying to say this name. I asked ChatGPT, like I always do, and that did not even help me. So, this video here is visiting the Valley of Death, and I feel like i seen somewhere that maybe it was haunted, but... This says, oh, and that's weird, 666 views. Located in, in eastern that place is a chilling site where approximately 1,200 to 1,400 Poles and Jews died by the Nazis and buried in a mass grave between October 10th and November 26th of 1939. So that is time to remember for sure. And that is what we're going to be checking out. So... Guys, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed today's content. Let's do it. Jen Dobry. Today, I took a tram and traveled to the east of Budgost to a district called Fordon. They might not seem like the usual destination for a traveler, and it's not. But just to my right, at the back of the district, is the site of one of the earliest atrocities committed by the Nazis in World War II. So I'm about to enter Dolina Smietze. What is Known that? In English is the Valley of Death. And it was here where one of the... If I would have guessed, I would have thought that was a hospital. First massacres of like World War II. Like a really small, weird hospital, just because the, the plus sign, not... Not that it looks like any normal hospital I've ever seen. Two took place. In October and November of 1939, hundreds of people from the nearby city were brought into these woods and killed. Their bodies thrown into a mass grave. And these people weren't killed because they were Jewish. Some of them were Jewish. But they were killed because they were part of the uh, Poland's uh, intellectual elite. So the people that were killed here were primary school teachers, secondary school teachers, researchers, doctors. The Germans wanted to destroy Polish culture. And the best way to do that was to destroy its intellectual elite, its leaders. Over 1,200 people were brought into these woods and murdered and thrown into a mass grave. just sad on so many levels I just could not imagine the terror is this place haunted why did I think it was haunted I don't know The list of people who were to be murdered was actually made up before the start of World War II. Wait, what is happening? The list was extended by the Gestapo at the start of World War II. I was messing with my microphone like an idiot. The list of people who were to be murdered was actually made up before the start of World War II. Okay, that's... The list was extended by the Gestapo. At that the looks start a little bit better. The, the way he had his camera, it seemed very odd to me. World War II. Between September 1939 and April 1940, tens of thousands of people were taken to mass shootings in places like this. This was chosen as a third site after the nearby execution sites in Tristian and Borovno started to overflow with dead bodies. Mm. Like, I just feel like 
people died in vain. And it's just a really sad thing. Poland seems like it was reconstructed from the from the top to bottom because of World War II and it's damaged everything. They've tried to save as much as they could, but they have many, many stories. <laughs> Before the Nazis started building the huge uh, death camps, this is where most people um, who were killed by the Nazis, these are the kind of places where um, they would be killed. Small, local places, maybe a couple of thousand people at a time. Man. And uh, in these places, they would uh, be forced to dig their own pit and uh, then they would stand up next to the pit and the Nazis would shoot them and they would fall on top of whoever was uh, just been shot before. The Nazis only seriously started thinking about building uh, extermination camps because uh, the um, act of repeatedly shooting people uh, and at these mass killings was having uh, a negative effect on the mental health of some no of the doubt. Nazis. And these places are all over uh, Poland. If you visit a Polish city or town and put the town name into Google with the word Holocaust after it, chances are you'll not be far away from a place that saw mass killings and uh, mass graves. I mean, it's just so peaceful. It's such a, a lovely park. I could not imagine being in line with my children and knowing that I'm going to have to dig my grave and we are about to be murdered. Murdered. I can't ever say that word very good. Um, I honestly I could not imagine. It's crazy. This is the time to think about this. It is the month for it to just remember, remember and honor the individuals. So, at least there's that, right? It's hard to believe the atrocities that went on here. One and a half thousand people teachers, doctors, lawyers, clergymen would have walked through these woods to be shot and thrown in a mass grave. There's actually got some of the names of the people who were murdered here. See there, one of the uh, victims having his head smashed in with the guns. Wow. They used to sometimes do that to save bullets. This is the actual site of the uh, mass grave. And the bodies were uh, exhumed and then buried elsewhere. So I don't think there's any uh, bodies still here. That's pretty cool.
These are the names. I wonder of the if they got. That's crazy. That's really cool that they have them up like that. Like at least have the names. These are the names of the victims and their profession. Yeah, I wonder if they were able to get all the names up there. Teacher, teacher, teacher. Oh, wow. Teacher, 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 teacher. Looking at that list, the uh, vast majority of the victims we teachers. That's weird, right? It says Hitler owes Christ. I don't know what that says. Well, I think that's it for uh, the Valley of Death. If you do come to uh, Big Gosh and you want to visit it, it's, it's very easy to get to. Just take a tram from the city centre, it takes about 25 minutes and then it's about a 15 minute walk to the to the entrance. whole thing, uh, walking around, you can do in, in an hour. And it's very interesting because I have been to uh, visit the big camps like Auschwitz and Sachsenhausen, Mauthausen. Uh, I've never been to these smaller places where the, the mass shootings took place. I think it's really important that these kind of memorials do exist to uh, act as a reminder and a warning from history mm -hmm. that in these quiet little towns something so beyond anyone's imagination could happen, something so evil. I think we need reminding of where hatred can lead. Yes. sure if it's a place that I would want to go visit because I think that would make me sad but it's good to remember it uh so I guess the place is it like I asked chat my best friend um about if it's haunted it says the valley of death is often regarded as a somber and chilling site with many people feeling an eerie atmosphere to due to its tragic history. And I get that. Charlie and I actually a few days ago went to, they're doing the Delphi case right now, those two girls that were murdered. And uh, we were, we literally were standing in the exact place those girls were murdered. And it was a very eerie feeling. Like you could just feel it uh, just all around you. And it was very, very weird. But, uh, yeah, I get get that. Stories of hauntings or supernatural occurrences aren't prominent in official records, but place with such a traumatic past where many lost their lives unjustly. I don't hear many people go into this place and I would I would imagine it would be pretty sad, so but there's plaques and memorials and all that stuff that just honors those people and it is nice to go out there and visit and just understand really but awesome video if anybody has anything to add to that feel free to put it down in the comments don't forget to like and subscribe and hope to see you in the next video thanks for watching guys bye